everyone, Francisima here. Today, we're gonna learn a Mexican mariachi song called Cielito Lindo. Ay, 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 let's get started. All right, Cielito Lindo is in the key of blank major. Okay, so let's look at the key signature. No sharps, no flats. So we know this is the key of C major. All right. And the time signature is 3-4, meaning we have three beats per measure and the quarter note gets the beat. All right, let's go straight to some tips. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is arpeggios. So we have some arpeggios, okay? I'm gonna go through and we see them all over the place. There's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, and there's another one. All right, so let's go ahead and learn all these arpeggios first. So notice, we have the little triplet marking, right? So we're gonna play all of these three in one beat, meaning we're gonna subdivide this two and a. This is beat two, right? So one and a, two and a, three and a, and then one. And notice, we're gonna play this, this with our left hand, and then we're gonna play with our right hand, and then we're gonna cross over with our left hand, okay? So we have, we have one and a two and a three and a one. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at the next one. So we have one and a again, and we start on two and a, this time starting down on the C. So one and a two and a three and a one. So we notice how we keep crossing over our left hand for that top note, okay? Excellent, let's take a look at another one. These are fun. Okay, here's another one. Uh, Let's, uh, it looks like the same one. We're gonna do one and a. So one and a, two and a, three and a, one, right? Okay, fun. This one starts on F here. So one and a, two and a, three and a, one. Okay, I love these. Okay, and we did this one already too, right? So one and a, two and a, three and a, one. Okay, any more? Yes, here's this one. Oh, this is a different one, kind of. Here we go. One and a two and a three and a one. Oh, fun. All right, now here's a fun note for us. We have a pedal marking, okay? So remember when it says pedal is usually kind of when we put the pedal down and then this snowflake marking is kind of when we release the pedal. Now these are kind of approximations. So you're gonna use your ear to hear what sounds the best. But we're gonna put our pedal down on beat one, right? So we're gonna play one, two, and a three, and a one. And you can lift, right? Or you can maybe lift it on one if you like. So one, two, and a three, and a one. Okay, so it's up to you. You use your ears and see what sounds best to you. But I like that new pedal thing we're doing. Let's try it here. So I'm gonna put my pedal down on beat one. One, two, and a three, and a one. Okay, that's interesting. I'll experiment with that. How about another one? Let's try this one. One, and a two, and a three, and a one. Okay, this is fun. Let's try it again. We have one, and a two, and a three, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a... There's another one. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a... Okay, I love pedals. This is fun. Let's do, a, let's do this one too. There's pedal here. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a... Oh, I like this. All right, now let's go back and learn our right hand so we can hear some melody. But when we get to the arpeggios, we'll skip over those for now since we already looked at them. So in the right hand, we start here with some two note chords, okay? We also call those dyads, right? So I have, let's see, G and E, I'll play one and five. One, two, three, and I'll just keep moving my hand down, right? One, oops, one, two, and then we'll skip these uh, arpeggios for now. And then we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then we have the arpeggio. And then on beat three, we just have a single line melody coming. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so we had that tie there, so make sure that carry goes over, right? Two, three, and then we have a little squeeze. This goes from one to three. One, two, three, hold, two, three, one, two, and then we go into that arpeggio again. Okay, then we have the melody coming back here. We go two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then the arpeggio. And then we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, arpeggio. Then that melody line again. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, hold it. Two, three, one, two, three, hold, two, three, one, two, and arpeggio to the end. All right, now for our left hand. We're going to start all the way on this low C. And let's take a look. I'm just going to hold it down on our five finger. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and then that's that arpeggio, right? But notice I put my pedal down. Fun. Let's keep going. Then I'll do one finger here on the G. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And then the arpeggio. Fun times. They're repelling. We're going to start the melody on our right hand. So here, oh, we're kind of going to a stride bass sounding situation. So we have one. And then we're going to jump up, right? So one, two, three. One, two. Okay, so I'm just doing whatever is most comfortable for my hand. I'm just gonna go five and then probably one, three, five, or five, one, two, five, or five, one, two, four, or one, three, four, whatever's easiest. So you're gonna practice what's best for your hand. So I'll play one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. keep going, one, Two, three, one, two, three, one. Oh, and then we have the arpeggio. Then coming back, we have, okay, this is, this is not C anymore. That's all the way down to B, right? So two, so you lifted your pedal here. Two, three, and then here, it's the same as here, which we started on five, but since we're already on that low B with our five finger, I'll go ahead and just use my forefinger. Two, three, one, two, three, one. And that's totally fine because you're going to lift your hand for that arpeggio anyway, right? Keep going. Back to that G. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Arpeggio. Okay. And then back to that kind of stride ish bass. We have one. Two, three, one, 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 two, three, and then that final arpeggio to the end. Now, what does it say down here? Circle all the six within this song. Sixes. Okay, I grab my handy dandy pencil. I'll grab my eraser just in case I'm making any boo-boos. All right, let's go find some six. Is this a six? Show is. Okay, and remember how we can find that G to E, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. All right, now we know what six are. How about F to D? Six. How about E to C? Six. C to A is a six. Okay. Wait, circles, right? Yes, circles. All right, keep going. Is that a six? It indeed it is. How about that one? I'm seeing a pattern here. Yes. How about this one? Correct. Also. Okay, any more? 
no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Found one. Found another one. Okay, how about that one? Yep. This one? Uh-huh. Yep. And yes. Okay. Well, it's repeating, right? So that looks good. That looks good. That's a six. Again and again. Any more? Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Okay. I think we did it. That's all the six within this song. All right. So you are going to play the right hand slowly, and then you're going to play the left hand. And don't forget to mix in those arpeggios and put them all together, right? Then, once you have the piano right and left hand together, perfect, you're going to sing the lyrics in Spanish. And then you will also learn the solfege, and we will sing it all and play it all beautifully. And for this song, we can play it very grandioso. So don't be afraid to play it with lots of oomph and power and flow. So today we learned a beautiful song called Cielito Lindo. Keep practicing all your songs, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Prestissima out! <laughs>